Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to my cybersecurity show. And today we are continuing in our series uh, for the Port Swigger Web Security Academy. Web Security, I think that's that's what they call it. Yes, Web Security Academy. I just it's right here on my screen. You can't see that yet, but you will. We can fix that because that's where we're at today. Let's jump into it right away. Today we are going to be taking a look at unprotected admin functionality. Again, I, uh, prerequisite knowledge here is that you've actually done the uh, the module. You've, you look through this here. We are in access control, right? And we're just going through the labs here. So it's up to you to read what's going on there. And that way, anything I say in the context of this episode will make sense. Well, at least that's, that's the idea anyway, right? So let's get into this. It says, uh, this lab has an unprotected admin panel. Ooh, we like that, right? And as we... Remember from our training, right? That that unprotected just means that there's not a lot of security wrapped around their admin panel. And we should be able to find it and access it with relative ease. Now, in real life land, that doesn't necessarily always work its way out easily, but it does happen from time to time. And it's a big, uh-oh, whoopsie, my bad, right? Oh, well. Uh, and that's why we want to find those things and let our clients know, hey, you, you've got this. You really need to wrap some security around that. So it says to solve this lab, uh, we delete the user Carlos, right? Okay, so we do know there is a user named Carlos. Again, they're the handholdy things. And of course, obviously, we know that this is an unprotected admin functionality. Let's access the lab. Let's see what goes on here. Okay, going. Here we go. I love it. It takes a minute. It's churning. It's burning. It's whirring. It's grinding. It's figuring out where's my lab. It's actually building it most likely because it's... You know, I'm logging in as me. Nobody else gets my lab. I get my own. And we are back in the shop, right? And we see a six-pack beer belt. I had a popcorn kernel. <laughs> that's fun. I was eating popcorn with my kids earlier. And that's the one. It's so tasty, yet it just gets everywhere in your teeth. But, uh, yeah, back to the shop, right? And we do see the lab is not solved. And I can click on things like view details. And of course, I want to look up in here. But this isn't really like showing me much. I'm getting the same old, same old. The only place I haven't gone is over here. Home. And my account. Let's go home. Where's home take me? Okay, that's the shop. And then I have my account. Which takes me here, which I don't have a login. And I don't see a way to even register. So I could try to brute force my way through. But that's... That's probably not what's going on here because that would be a protection. That would be security. Now, it could be bad security. That could fall under that rubric. But if we remember reading through the module and the training in there, we're doing some easy lifting first. We start with simple, right? Brute forcing your way past the, past the login. Not as simple as just going, hey, let's, let's look around a little bit. Let's see what's going on. So there's a couple of ways I could go about this. One of the first things I like to do when I come to a web application and I'm starting to kind of peruse my way through it is I want to go into the URL, right? And you'll notice that I'm in a uh, login. It says login right here. That is the URI that I'm at. Okay. So I've got a login form. If I hit home, is there anything there? No, there's nothing there. One thing I could possibly do right here fire up one of my favorite directory busters, fuzzers, or however you like to call it. Something like Go Buster, or Derb, or Dur Buster, or Ferox Buster. Plenty of them out there that you could go. You could roll your own, honestly. Uh, Burp Suite has the ability to do this. If you're running the Community Edition, it it better be a short list <laughs> of, of uh, endpoints. So I'm just going to go for one thing that I always try to go for and not let the directory buster. I can do this manually. It's pretty easy. Look for robots.txt. Robots.txt. And this is a, 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 a text document that is going to be for your web application. I'm just looking for that. And what this is used for is, you notice this says user agent star. So any user agent, this is to stop web crawlers like Google from trying to crawl around because it causes a lot of traffic and other um, different things. So it just kind of tells it, hey, don't allow these things to go this area. And these are the disallowed areas. And you'll notice we've got administrator panel. <laughs> so I can just copy that. We'll get to that in just a second. 
But as you can see, a lot of people will try to use that as like security through obscurity. Oh, if I stick it in the disallow, no one will know it's there. And you, you, you know, it's not going to show up, blah, blah, blah. You know, no, no, it's that's weak sauce as we just saw. And now all I have to do is come up into the URL or the uh, address bar and change robots.txt, back that off, paste in what I just copied, administrator panel, wait for it. Oh, look. Oh. And now we are in the admin panel. And you can see I've got users over here. They have a delete next. Oh, and there's old Carlos. And as we recall, our job was to delete the Carlos. So I can delete Carlos. And then that should give us, congratulations, you have solved the lab. Yay. Not the only way we can do it. Like I said, we could have run a buster after this thing. Let's do that for real quick just because it's fun. Let me get it. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. It's, uh, I'm always working in so many different things. There we go. And I will make that like so and do a little bit of this. And we'll do, oh, just go buster because it's the easiest one off the top of my head. Uh, dir dash u for URL. And I will need that from here. And just do a little swipe. And I'm just leaving the administrator panel off of this because I just want the URL straight to the home area. And honestly, I could just hit home. Or I could, you know, right-click home and copy link. Where's that at there? Copy link. That works as well. well. Plenty of different ways to skin a cat. Now we jump back here. We'll run it under GoBuster. So I just got to give it the URL. Paste that in. And then I will give it a dash W for the word list. And let's go with user share word lists. And I think derb. We'll just go with common.text. We'll see if that, that does anything. Fire it off. See if it finds it. I honestly have no idea whether or not that word list has administrator panel in it. It's a relatively small word list, only 4,615 words. You're going to be like, Daniel, that sounds like a lot of words. Yeah, it's nowhere near as, but you'll notice how long it's taking to get through this. So I can let that word and grind. Uh, but since we already kind of know that, oh, oh, look, I didn't know that was there, right? We did find analytics. I want to go look at that now. Let's go back while this is still going. Let's see what's under analytics. So if I do analytics, that takes me to an endpoint, right? Yeah, I did go there. Did I spell it correctly? Yeah, analytics. It's a weird word, right? Where is that? Analytics. Yeah, I did spell it right. So we, we are here. It's just nothing there. There's a page, but or at least a directory. There's no directory listing. So, okay, I did find something else. I would put that as a note if I were actually like, you know, trying to look at this web application with any kind of real. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this kind of crank. I'm going to pause, this, pause for just a minute. We'll come back. It'll be done. We can see if it finds what we're looking for, all right? So uh, give me just a moment and we shall return. All right, we're back and it is done. And you'll see here that we didn't find the administrative panel area, right? So if I go back a couple uh, to where we were, yeah, the administrator panel, we didn't find that. But what did we find? We did see that robots.tech showed up plus a bunch of other things. Now we were familiar with the login and obviously they had, uh, you know, two endpoints going probably to the same place because it's just making sure you you could either use, uh, but you never know. You want to look at that. Does this capital L login versus lowercase login, are those the same things or are they different? You would want to go through that. So ultimately I would have run down each one of these endpoints going, okay, what's it? What's an analytics? Maybe con.ico I might have left on the table. Uh, what's in filter? Again, what's in the logins? We got a log out. You'll notice that gives us a redirector with 302. That's the status code for HTTP. Got this one here for my account as well. Takes me straight to login because I'm not logged in. It's not seeing that. So that's what's going on there. Uh, and we did get a, a 400 status code, which is some sort of client side error. For product, probably some sort of like forbidden or whatever. No, or 403 is forbidden. What is 400? I don't remember. Let's go there. I want to go to, uh, what was it, product? Let's check that out. 
Type that in. Product. What happens if I go there? Oh, so it's a, it's a, um, definitely a 400, but you're getting this like missing parameter product ID. So it needed to have that parameter, uh, which is what you get when you click on one of the links on the homepage of the web shop. So that's cool. And then of course, robots.txt shows up. And of course what happens? So if it were to have slipped my mind or maybe I wasn't aware of it, it still would have been, even though I didn't get what I was looking for using this word list, which does remind us to use really good word lists, try to build good word lists, find and use good word lists. There's a lot of them out there. If you don't, if you're not familiar with sec lists, download that. You can just like, uh, I'm running parrot. So you can do apt like search and do sec lists. I believe it is. Yeah, there you go. So it's built into the aptitude and you can see I've got it installed a collection of multiple types of security lists. If I'm not mistaken, it's in slash user share sec lists. And then there you go. You've got discovery, you've got fuzzing, you've got IOCs, you've got miscellaneous passwords, pattern matching, payloads, usernames, web shells, off and off we go. I don't know why that's not uh, going away, but there you go. Um, so yeah, sec list is really great because they got a bunch of, of those there. So if I wanted to try, I think it would probably be under discovery. So let's do ls user share sec lists slash discovery. And then web content. What's in there? Yeah, show them all. And they just get a bunch of stuff in here, right? So we just got common Dutch, common backdoors, common.txt, confluence, directory list. These are from... Uh, that's the Durbuster from OWASP Zaps Durbuster. That's, I believe that's their bunches of them in here, right? So you got tons of them to go through, find the right ones that are going to be the most effective, maybe mix and match a few of them, build a really good list. You can also build lists off of uh, the actual website itself based off of some of the verbiage that you've seen, just pulling anything off of this. So I would want a word called unprotected admin functionality. It could grab all these words so you can use scripts to do that. There's other scripts out there like cool, cool can do that. Uh, you can build your own, but that would be something I would do. And of course, ultimately I would want to see this right here. I'd find that robust.txt file, browse to that sucker, maybe curl it. I could do that. So curl. Uh, oh, I guess I would need that whole URL. I still have that. I hope I do. Control, v, you know, shift control V. There you go. No, that's not what I want. That is, no, that is what I want. Yeah. Do it again. Try it again. Shift control V. There we go. And we would do robots.txt. And that should come back with this. Oh, look. And that's how these things are done. Okay. I, I, I beat this horse enough. Hopefully I've given you a couple of things to chew on uh, when it comes to this specific lab. We have solved it. We have beaten it. It has been vanquished. On to the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stick around for the series, and I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, keep hacking.